Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about the time machine and how quickly it works. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work quickly. It's not a fast thing. You know, if you have joint pains, tendon issues, and things of that nature, uh, painkillers work a lot faster. They don't fix the underlying problem, but they work a lot faster. They'll work within hours or overnight or something like that. You know, but um, anytime you're dealing with having to regrow cartilage in your knees or in your hips or possibly a fattening up the discs in, in your spine, you know, these kind of processes in the body. And some of these processes are thought by doctors to not to exist. I mean, they just, you know, they, they'll tell you that, hey, you can't grow any cartilage, it doesn't work. Well, I can tell you, uh, in my opinion, they're completely wrong. Uh, it can work. But the process isn't fast. It, it does take time, and I'm talking many, many months. I mean, when I started taking this formula in the time machine, it was three months before I thought I was on the right track. You know, and then in six months, I knew it. You know, I knew something was definitely different. You know, the pains were going away. I had much better stamina out there uh, on the tennis court and, and uh, in the gym and things like that. You know, so um, I wish it were faster, but it's not. Um, when it comes to strengthening tendons, uh, that that takes time. You know, uh, anybody that's had tennis elbow before, you know, they'll tell you that's a three to six month process if you don't use your arm anymore. You know. <laughs> Uh, and this will make it a little quicker if you're on the time machine or on this formula, but, uh, but it's not a fast process. I've been on steroids before when I was younger, you know, and, and, uh, and dating and all that, you know. And that works fast. I don't care if you got an injury. You know, that injury is going to be gone in about two weeks. It's, it's absolutely amazing what happens when you pump all kinds of synthetic testosterones into your, into your body. You know, but it's just not safe. I mean, in six weeks you got to get off of that stuff. You know, and the problem is after you know six months of being off of it, you're probably going to you're probably going to lose everything that you gained because your cortisol levels are going to rise up, and uh, you know, it's tough to get a net gain out of steroids unless you just want to stay on them all the time, and that's where it gets dangerous. But um, but the time machine is not a fast process. But if you're an aging male and you're in your 50s or 60s and you know that you're on a decline as far as your body maintenance is going, this just tilts that decline into an incline. And so you'll be on the right track. You'll start to get stronger and better as time goes by rather than just weaker and weaker and in worse and worse shape. So it's not a big change, but it's a really important change. It's the difference between going downhill and actually going uphill a little bit and maintaining that uphill climb into better health and a, and, a, and a better state of maintenance, it's an important change. So I wish I could tell you it was a fast process, but it's just not, you know, you're going to go six months to a year and I'm sure it's going to work. It's worked for me and it's been fantastic. Um, I realized what an important change it was because just being able to get healthier rather than getting worse means everything. It means I can be around longer for my kids. It means, uh, you know, it means a lot. I mean, I have more time on this earth to do what I want to do rather than just look forward to what's coming next, you know, so cross that bridge when I have to. <laughs> All right, thanks.